Brand Gold Real Estate Budget. Go ahead and open the file. Enable the editing. So I started this one for you. The items that I filled in uh, are the ones that are changing. The ones that are not filled in are consistent. So for example, uh, interest will go all the way across the columns. The ones that had different amounts, I filled them in for you. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, if, I, if you notice column one, you can't see some of the words are chopped off. So I'm just going to drag so I can see most of it. There you go, office supplies. If I double clicked, it would have went as wide as budget which is the longest item, but I don't need it that long, so you can scroll scroll back. Um, also, in B3, type January, and then before you hit Enter, drag across to December. And then in total, in N, type total, and then do the th same thing for B8, January, and again, fill handle. You don't need total here. Good. All right, so here we go. 100 should go all the way across. So drag it across. Do the same thing for the, um, we can actually do all three, for the rent, utilities, and advertising, and drag it across. And then you can do it for the 200. And then I'm going to try Control and select those. And then it won't let me. So I'll just do this one one at a time. And then select the next two and drag across. Now wherever there is gaps, it's going to be zero. And you can still use your fill handle. Just stop, don't do it to July, zero. And drag it across. And then the office supplies, zero. And just drag across, leave that 200 there, zero. Again, skip that one, zero. And then again. All right, so here we have our monthly estimates. This is our commission and the interest that we earned, so we need a total. You can do the auto sum or alt equals, and it should be B4 plus B5, which is fine. And again, drag that across. And then do the same thing for all of the expenses for each month, alt equals. B9 through B16, perfect, check, and drag that across. Now, the net is to take the total commission and interest and then subtract all of the expenses. So we're going to put in B6 minus B17. So the formula is equals B6 minus B17. And that'll be our net. Good. Go ahead and drag that across. And then we can do Alt equals, and it knows to add everything to the left the whole year, January through February, BM through M4, check. And I'm going to drag it all the way down. And in the places where I don't need anything, I'm just going to press delete. Just saves time. So for formatting, they like to have the dollar sign not on the entire worksheet, not all do dollar signs. What they want is on the first and total first and total. So I selected my first one and I'm going to use control and select row 6. Then I'm going to select row 9 and then I'm going to select 17 and then 19. And then I'll click the accounting formatting style. So I get the dollar sign, the commas, and the decimal two places. So the ones in between, because I still want the commas, uh, and the decimals, I just don't want the dollar sign. And then I'll hold control and select 10 through 16. And then when I choose the comma, watch what happens to the, the cells that have zero. They have a dash now. But now all the decimals, so I'm just going to undo so that you can see how uneven it is right now with no decimal and two decimal places. Once I click comma, it fixes everything. And it's not too busy with too many dollar signs. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I know it went as far as the letter N, so I'll select A1 through N1, merge and center. And again, you can pick anything you'd like for a font. And make it larger, change the color of the font if you'd like, the shading. And then if you want to do the same thing for monthly estimates, 
merge and center. It probably doesn't have to be as large. Uh, you can change the, um, again, the font. It's up to you what you want to do. Um, I usually like to do something with the um, column title. So I'm going to select row three, hold control, and select row eight. Now, if you want, instead of choosing your own style, you can go into what's called cell styles. You're limited to your choices, but you can pick something from here. And I like, usually like to have them in bold, and then you can put them in center. And if you'd like on the net to do that accounting format style with the total, you can do that as well. Nice. Let's see how this is to print. So um, I think the book did one other thing where in between every other, they did shading. So I'm going to click every other. So, and I'm holding control down and selecting every other. And I'm just going to have shading for every other. And you go into your shading and pick any color you'd like. Maybe something different. There you go. So, and then if you wanted to, I'm going to leave this plain, but you could change the color to that if you wanted. Very colorful colorful. So let's go ahead and file, print, and of course it's in portrait. So the first thing I'm going to do is change it to landscape so I can get everything. See it's two pages long. I'm going to go to landscape, but it only goes up to se September. It's still two pages long. So how are we going to fit this entire spreadsheet on one um, one paper in landscape? If you choose no scaling, actually select fit sheet on one page and it does. So all we have left to do is page setup. I already chose uh, landscape. So it did adjust it to 74% so that it could fit the entire sheet. So I'll choose vertical, horizontal and vertical, go into custom header, date, your name in the middle, and on the right, the file name. Okay. Okay. And that's the save and submit.